Hello, I'm Commander Kelly, and uh, this is going to be uh, my first video of uh, a set of videos that I'm planning to do. Uh, it, these videos are for my reference, uh, so um, and also I'll be sharing them with a friend and probably uploading them to um, YouTube. So. Um, the videos are going to be about uh, making mesh uh, for Second Life. I am following a series on uh, how to make mesh, and uh, the series is by Chick Aon, I believe it's spelt uh, or pronounced. Sorry, if I got that wrong, I do apologise. Um, I will leave a link uh, to her YouTube channel in the description. So, but uh, let's uh, get on with the video. So for this video you're going to need, for this video tutorial you're going to need uh, Blender 2.79B um, or A, I think 2.79, 2.79A, 2.79B. I've got 2.79B, um, so that's what I'll be using. Um, so, you know, once you first start up Blender, you will be greeted with this screen. Uh, just click anywhere in this area, around this area, to get rid of this picture. And then you'll be greeted with this cube in the middle of a grid and uh, basically I'm not going to uh, go over it step by step like the uh, video tutorial does but uh, I'm going to do what I think to be adequate for what I need it for uh, so I'm going to press 1 on the numerical keypad to get this view and then I'm going to press 5 to get front or ortho view but where you get a grid around it. Uh, I've got to try and remember because uh, I'm not looking at the video at the moment so if I mess up uh, I'll learn from the mistakes. As I said, this is for my uh, reference only, anyway. Um, and I want to make another um, panel, I believe it is. So I go up to the corner here, and there's some vertical, horizontal lines, or, um, no, they're not horizontal, uh, diagonal lines. I need to click here, left click, and drag out. And that, you can see that I bring another um, uh, window open. I'm going to need to click down here uh, and go from 3D view to UV image editor. And then I'll get that, you see. Uh, that's what I'll need. So I'll just uh, shrink that a minute. And then I want to get that window open. I don't think you need these windows open. It's just what I've seen on the video where it helps. And then I need to click on this materials button here. Uh, I'll just shrink all these. Of course, I don't think I'll be using them yet. So I've only got this uh, like materials uh, pane open. Uh, just trying to think how it was done. So, so you got a basic cube. Uh, and to view around the cube, it was. Uh, 
hold the right mouse button, the middle mouse button, and this. Yeah, it's the middle mouse button, and uh, just uh, drag around the area like that, and you can see you're uh, going all the way around. Uh, to zoom with it out is scroll, obviously. To select the object is right click. Now, on most uh, things, it's left click, but in Blender, it's right click. So, want to right click it, and I want to give it a, a material. Now, in this panel here, it's showing that it's got a material, but I'll delete that. Just get rid of it, and I'll click the plus arrow, uh, plus button, and new to add a new material, and then I'll um, rename that. I'll just rename it to yeah cube. I'll stick. To what it says in the video um, and uh, click enter now I uh, believe that's all I need to do as, as I say I'm not following the video at the moment so I might mess up I don't know and I think I need to go to file save as I've already done it you see but uh, as you can see, uh, I've got some here, but I'm going to do it without looking at the video this time. So I'm going to click up here and uh, just delete that. Uh, new cube, I'm going to call it. And then I'll go to save as Blender file. Now we need to export that. So we click on file. Export as DAE file. It's the top one. And uh, it's... I've already got my name here, new cube, and I want to export to, oh, here's one more thing I forgot to do. Right, I need to come over to here, click this pop-down menu, and click SL plus OpenSim static, that's the one you need, and then export the file. And I believe that's all you need to do. Now, I'll find that one, so I go into uh, the open world sim because I I won't be doing it in Second Life as you uh, as I need to pay for it. And if it's messed up, I don't want to pay for something I don't want. So I'll just pause the video a minute. Okay, as you can see, I'm back and uh, I'm actually in the, the Destiny grid uh, is the uh, open sim. Um, it's a grid run by a group of friends of mine, so um, it's a private thing, but uh, I can uh, come in here and uh, test me uh, mesh objects out what I've um, made to see if they work. So to actually bring it into world I need to go to build, uh, upload, upload mesh model and I need to uh, it's, uh, new cube, click on new cube and open Okay, and I'll get this um, uh, box up. Uh, uh, at the top here, I need to name it. I'll name it to Crate because that's what it's supposed to gonna look like. So I'll call it Crate. And then I want to go to Physics. 
uh, choose high physics I'm doing exactly as it says in the video here so and then I want to go to upload options um, now in the video it it, uh, it is different as to what you see here but uh, you want to calculate the weight of the or you can uh, you can actually change the size of it the dimensions of it as well here by uh, changing these numbers but I'm just going to calculate the weight and fee uh, so that seems all okay so I'll just upload and uh, as you can see in the objects folder here it's created it so hopefully this has worked all right so I'll find out in a minute I'll just drag it to the sand here and uh, I'll go to my textures and I'll drag a texture over. Now it seems to have worked exactly as I saw in the video. Uh, there isn't proper texture on it but that's just the uh, showing me that um, I've learnt something without uh, looking at a video so yeah I'm pleased with that so next time I'll uh, uh, add a texture to it where you can see it's a wooden crate so uh, I'll uh, see you next time